A huge warm welcome to the Art Vlog Art Lovers with me, George Dopamine. Today, I've headed out of central London to the suburb of Dulwich, um, Dulwich Village to be precise, which you can get to from North Dulwich or West Dulwich stations, to visit that venerable old gallery, the Dulwich Picture Gallery, and specifically a show by the great Lithuanian polymath, M.K. Chulonis, and I hope I pronounced that right. If you're a Lithuanian speaker, please tell me, Chulonis. Anyway, um, this show is on until the 12th of March and is £15 to get in. There are a range of discounts. Um, and I really can't wait to explore this because I've heard a little bit of his music. In fact, I had my headphones on on the train um, coming down here and it's lush. I was listening to a piece called In the Forest. Um, and Chilonis is, is, is kind of a, a cultural icon in Lithuania. He had a very short life, but produced multiple pieces of music and many works of art. So um, who was M.K. Chilonis? Uh, Chilonis was, a, was the eldest of nine children, and he grew up in a Lithuania which was part of the Russian Empire. He was born in 1875. Lithuanian culture was repressed, and in fact many um, upper-class Lithuanians actually spoke Polish as their first language. From the age of three, it was very clear he was a musical prodigy, um, and he studied at the Warsaw Conservatory, and is very well known as a composer. But he also was clearly a great artist, and he went back to Warsaw to study at the School of Fine Art in Warsaw, before starting on a cycle of work, some of which I'm very much hoping to see today. Day. He was a Lithuanian um, patriot who was very, very keen for Lithuania to become an independent country and he absolutely aided the artistic development and identity of Lithuania as, Lithuania as a country. For example, he, he was an inter integral part of instigating and, and also exhibiting in the first um, exhibition of Lithuanian artists in 1907. He also exhibited in St. Petersburg. Over a very short period of time, he produced over 400 pieces of music, including 200 piano pieces, as well as over 300 works of art. Um, very sadly, he, he um, suffered a breakdown and was committed to a psychiatric hospital in Poland. Um, and he died in that psychiatric hospital of pneumonia at the very young age of 35. But from what I've learned, he didn't waste a minute of his life. He was constantly producing, constantly creating. He learned Lithuanian and he became a, such an important part of Lithuanian culture. I know little about him beyond that, but I can picture from seeing a little bit online some of his, his work and his style. Um, most of his works are held in, in Lithuania. So it's really special that over a hundred have come to the Dulwich Picture Gallery today. So do come and join me as I take you inside this exhibition of the um, this Lithuanian great
enjoyed the highlights there and I think it's fair to say heart lovers we live in troubling times but I feel a lot less troubled having spent an hour or two in the world of MK Jalernus. I hope I'm still pronouncing that right please correct me if I'm wrong um, I thoroughly enjoyed this exhibition I was thinking on the third time that I went round because I did have to go around it three times I did one of those exhibitions where I didn't want to leave that it's quite rare that you come across an artist for the first time in the flesh so to speak who has such a complete artistic vision after a couple of the early works which I'm showing here Jalernus is there, his, his, his artistic vision is, is, is complete and it's absolutely unique in the ethereal way that he uses colour um, and the luminosity of his works. Um, it's probably because he created, according to the exhibition, in a frenzy of activity between 1902 and 1909 when he produced the majority of the works that you see in this exhibition and the works he's well known for both in uh, music and in painting. Um, the exhibition is very, very interesting in lots of ways, as well as showing us the beauty of these works. But one of the plays that it makes is that that, that actually um, the artist was the first uh, real abstract artist in Europe, stealing that crown from the Russian great Kandinsky. I don't quite believe that. In fact, for me, the favourite works were the works that, that, that tiptoed and pushed quite close to abstraction. Works like Sparks 1 to 3, which you can see here, which are almost abstract um, in, in, in the way that they're, they're, they're viewing stars and, and, and the sky, or Daybreak 1 to 2, where you're looking at what appears to be like an abstract vision and you can just make out the city in the background. Um, these were absolutely fantastic. They might, might made my heart beat faster. Another absolute highlight, and I'm really sorry that my camera just was not picking this up. I, I use a good camera, but it wasn't picking up the luminosity of colour, was his paintings of summer, like the summer one to three, where the glow really reminds me of the period we're in now in September, that end of summer, early autumn, when the light is fading. Just look at them. And also, just have a look as well at, the, um, at the, uh, this painting as well of the sun. I loved some of the, the um, Sonata paintings, especially the Allegro. And in the two triptychs in the first room, again, where they're almost abstract, the middle in both of these are absolutely brilliant. As I speak to you, there's protests going on in Iran. And Sorrow 1 and 2 um, it hints at, according to, to the, the curation, um, protest flags from protests that were happening in Warsaw, I imagine pro-independence, Polish protests, and also in Lithuania as well. And the birds that you can see in this second painting um, symbolise in Lithuanian folklore um, sorrow and departing souls. Um, I would say that 
there's a real sense, even though there is very little explicit in these works. I mean, My Road is one of them, but there's very little explicit in these works. But there is lots and lots of links to Lithuanian nationalism, Lithuanian culture, pride in Lithuanian culture as well. Probably personally, and you may disagree, you might have different tastes. My least favourite works are actually the explicit symbolist ones where we sort of rel like move into the realms of, of pure fantasy, which you see in the last room here. Um, they, 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 for me, were sort of less compelling than the less obvious works, if you see what I mean. However, I did love fairy tale, this night's fairy tale picture. And um, when you look at it and you look at the, 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 the um, the, 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 the branches of the trees, obviously of forest being very symbolic and important in Lithuanian culture. You can actually see cities and towns on these and you sort of wonder if the knights are conjuring up and believing in this new heralding of Lithuanian art. So overall, I recommend that you, if you, if you like what you saw and you want to get to know an, uh, an exhibition, you come to this show. Um, it's on, as I say, until the 12th of March. It's £15 without gift aid online if you book in advance and it's also um, £16.50 if you, if you pay on the door. And remember for that you also get access to the wonderful collection of 17th and 18th century Dutch art. Probably one, I mean, one of the best collections in Britain, certainly full of Rubens and Rembrandt and Van Dyck and there's a Constable and a Canaletto, loads of other Dutch artists as well. And you also get a, a, um, access to this sort of mini show by the artist Anthony Daly, who's responding to Rubens. It's called Son of Rubens. So overall, um, I really recommend this show. I've, I'm pretty certain, actually, weirdly, I'm going to be back. And I don't usually, because of the cost, come to the Dulwich um, uh, Picture Gallery twice. But I think I'll be back probably in February or March time, just, just me without doing a vlog, because I want to be back in this world. And do remember to subscribe to the art vlog and hit that notification bell for upcoming previews and reviews. Um, and as I say, we'll be going to many more exhibitions over the next few weeks.